Hi, my name is Dr. Kumar Vadivel. I'm a board certified periodontist. People know me as a gum specialist and I practice in the Dallas, Texas area. In this video, I want to share with you a heart touching story of how you can help yourself prevent the killer heart disease. So hang tight with me and keep watching. Many of you may not know heart disease in the United States causes one in every four deaths. That's right, one in every four deaths. Infective endocarditis is one of the major heart disease among them. As a gum specialist, I see patients every day who are at risk of heart disease due to untreated gum disease. So here to the story where my patient and his wife are sharing their own story about their experience regarding the connection between the gum disease and heart disease. Thank you for coming in today. Um, so tell me what brings you into our office today. Go ahead. We've been to our cardiologist and I've got some problems with my heart. I got mitral valve prolapse and they want to try and fix the valve. And um, they think that the infections I've had in the past have come from blood infections that went to my heart and damaged my valve even further. So now they want my teeth to get fixed. And uh, before we proceed with any future surgeries to prevent another infection, which would not be good. So tell me a little bit about how you found out, you know, how this can be connected, your teeth, your mouth can be connected to the condition that you currently have. Okay, right. So in April of 2015, three years ago, um, he had come home from a job and he was having night sweats. And so we went to the doctor and uh, this doctor was, we knew he had mitral valve prolapse. And so he took it upon himself to do a um, blood test and do blood cultures. Yes. Well, about three days later, the doctor called and said he was uh, positive for a bacteria called strep veridans mm -hmm. and he feared that it was in the heart so we went to the hospital and um, he was on IV medication probably for six weeks mm -hmm. and um, he had vegetation on the heart valve and strep ver the bacteria that was strep veridans we knew that it came from the mouth and that's what they typed it and that's what they it's said. It's a oh. very common bacteria, very, very common and yes. uh, Dr. Schechter it, it told us that it came from your gums. Mm -hmm. And his valve doesn't shut properly like my heart valve would or yours. Right. Yes. And so if there's any, because of the regurgitation, any type of infection goes into the heart and not, you know, there's no... Okay. Yeah. So tell me why do you think you know it's important to get the treatment needed when it comes to you know the gum disease or seeing a periodontist for your dental care? Well it, it's for number one the, both my specialist the surgeon in Houston and my cardiologist in Corpus have said that without treating the gums any further surgeries would be very, very dangerous because if I were to get another infection in my mouth, from my mouth, my gums, uh, that it, it would be, not be good. So uh, the plan of action and their idea is that step one to curing everything would be to cure the gum disease and make sure that no infections could start there which would go directly into your bloodstream and into your heart. Uh, tell me Greg, this is you know it's a really heart touching moment for me because this is exactly what we struggle every day to help my patients you know help them understand hey this is a big connection between your gum disease and your heart disease, gum disease and diabetes. So it is a really heart touching story that you have shared with us and I'm glad you are aware your cardiologist told you that you have to get this done before any kind of a cardiac procedure needs to be done. So knowing what you know now, so tell me what kind of advice or what kind of recommendations you have 
for your friends or the family or things you may have done like you may not have gone to the dentist on a regular basis and that's what could have caused all the problem do you regret about not doing taking care of your teeth or something that you have done wrong something you feel like you should have got you know things better or what recommendations you have uh, for the public yes in 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 uh, prevention um, definitely hindsight's 2020 and i wish uh, thinking back that i would have taken the time to go to the dentist to get the proper cleaning and uh, through all those years but you get so caught up in work 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 and then look what you wind up with here here in a bad way that could result in something you don't want so prevention would be regular checkups cleaning cleaning at the dentist brushing doesn't just do it because uh, a lot of the periodontal diseases are i guess hereditary and my family's all had uh, receding gums and um as they receded they start bleeding and bacteria gets in from eating and even though you brush you still get bacteria and the bacteria can get into your bloodstream and cause uh infections that could actually i had one in my heart and one in my lower spine from the same bacteria so it is not necessarily just your heart it could i guess it could be any weak uh, organ in your body that this bacteria seems to want to attack and all could be prevented by going to the dentist and get proper cleaning regularly so how long have you had gum disease you may not know you have this silent killer in your body some of the signs of gum disease include bad breath red or swollen gums bleeding or painful gums painful chewing loose teeth sensitive teeth receding gums or longer appearing teeth and much more have you noticed any of these in your mouth if you have then it's time for you to visit your dentist see a dentist in your area or visit us in one of our Dallas Fort Worth locations call the number on the screen or click the link below to make an appointment we are here to help